Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. So let's see, uh, let's try Nimzo Indian, I think. I can't say that name. Uh, Akala Kunai? I don't know. Actually, this isn't a Nimzo Indian either. Let's pay attention. What am I doing? Um, Tarash. Tarashi. I'll play this. I know it releases the tension and violates some rules, but maybe bishop b4 is useful here for that e4 square. So queen, I think queen a5 coming up, knight e4. So I suppose I'm trying to exploit this bishop outside of the pawn chain, not holding up c3. Now he is weakening e4 a bit more, so I think this could be fun. Now with knight e4 coming up, <coughs> I don't mind that particularly. Although there is bishop c3 to insert here. Yeah, I think. Check. I'll take my chance because queen d2 and just take care. Um, okay, so yeah, I think this is this is uh, looking good so far. Um, Where can the queen go? You see, if I play the check, rook c2, then come back like this. Let's go to queen, queen to a5. I mean, having the rook on c2 might be an advantage. Check. So I'll come back like this. So that is a passed pawn, basically. Also, bishop f5, yes, an advantage for bishop f5. That looks good, looking down at B1 as well, so no rook B1 after. That is looking quite rosy here. What's this? Is this desperation? I don't get that. I'll take it. Check. Uh, queen takes bishop E6. I'm not convinced. I'm developing pieces here. <coughs> Cannot be serious. Cannot be serious. Seriously. Okay, so there's f5 just kicking the queen. He hasn't got e5. Now knight b4 might be juicing. Is he going to sack the exchange? Oh, it says rook c8 or bishop d5 coming out. Knight d4 is also interesting. I don't think that does anything. So knight b4. Yeah. Maybe rook c8, just positional sacrifice here. In inverted commas, just to get the c file. So I'm not trying I'm not giving him too much play. I want to use the c file and get to his king instead. So positional sacrifice. In effect, I'm not not taking his exchange sack. He hasn't got many bits on my king. I just want a few bits around his king. So it's a nice pin to start off with. <coughs> oh, knight d3 just wins the rook. That's pretty useful. Um, you can take on d3 after. Do it anyway. Once bishop d5 first, queen moves knight d3. Then it'll be with check potentially. And bishop d5 first. There's rook takes b4 there. Yeah, so maybe just simply. Hmm, is it that simple? What if I to take on a2? Maybe that's the simplest. Hmm. I don't want to be losing uh, B B7 at the end of this. Um, well, there's bishops. What about just bishop C4? Just exploiting that pin. 
If rookie one is knight d3, isn't that even stronger? I think that looks pretty convincing. Yeah, this other stuff gives him a chance. He's just resigned instantly. <laughs> That's how strong it was. Okay, yeah, the other stuff, I think, was just... If I play this... Check. I mean, okay, let's put on the kibitz here. Yeah, I just thought, okay, he's king. I take it here, although this is supposed to be huge. Oh, uh, it's that's that's okay as well. It's um yeah. What am I thinking? Yeah, that's so. Uh, let's have a look at the opening. Uh, Check. Yeah, so black is is better with this. With his F4, I think that's horrific response here in response to this. I've done something naughty, release the tension, but this is just weakening e4. Queen f5, good. Taking good. Check. Check. Yep. Check, Check. good, even. Computer likes queen a3 here. This is unsound. Check. A bit desperate. Might be four, interesting as well. This is good enough, surely. Yeah, taking was okay as well. Okay. Um, this is just setting up another tactical vulnerability. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.